Please join me in welcoming J Rock himself. Give it up for Jonathan Torrance. <laughs> So, hi. Hi. I want to point out that when we just hugged just then, John said, were you talking about Wayne Ronstadt? Do you know why? There are three marginal impressions I do in Canadian <laughs> entertainment. I know one, one is Wayne Ronstadt from On the Road Again. <laughs> the other is Lyndon McIntyre from The Fifth Estate. And what's the third the one? The third is Tom Power from Newfoundland. <laughs> Maybe uh, if you're like me and you grew up in Newfoundland, uh, you have heirs. And maybe you grew up listening to music. And, and, and maybe you had that special friend. And, and, and maybe you called them once a week just to talk about music that you heard. <laughs> Our next guest had the same experience. Please welcome Tom Power from Newfoundland. Oh, good. We teased because we love. Oh, we teased because we love. We actually met at CBC in Toronto, member. You took me for a cup of coffee. You were guest host in the older version of this yeah. show, yeah. And then you uh, the uppercase version of this show, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I said, "Us East Coasters have to stick together in the six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Drake's pelting us <laughs> with uh, <laughs> apples. No kidding. And yelling us about Anne Murray. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's how it is in Toronto. I don't know if you've ever been. But you walk down the street and you're from the East Coast. People just pelt you with apples and ask you about <laughs> Anne Murray. Dear Diary, you'll never guess who I seen in Kensington Market today. Bruno <laughs> Gerussi. It was nuts. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to wear my uh, tiny guitar shirt from the John Lennon collection. True story. Yeah. Got it for Christmas. Oh, yeah. From Sandy's Menswear and the T-Dot, mm -hmm. Truro. Oh. <laughs> and uh, this is my first opportunity to wear it. So uh, I know we're, we're going to play a game in a second, but, but first I wanted to ask you, you, you hosted the East Coast Music Awards this year. How did it go? You, when you say you wanted to ask me, does that mean you've thought better of it? Yeah, now I'm not. So I'm, I'm going to move on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pass. Um, it went really well. I was so honored to be a part of it, and I think the organizers did a great job of paying loving tribute to where we came from mm -hmm. and also celebrating this critical moment in our collective history. Why is it such a critical moment? Well, because you look at an act like Neon Dreams, for example. They won the golden ticket. They were on an arena tour across the country, and then circumstances beyond their control put them in a position where y they had to prove that the right thing and the easy thing is not always the same thing. Mm -hmm. And they made a decision that negatively impacted their career, one could argue, and that's not fair, but it is important, and it was awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see them perform on the show. Um, Kinley Dowling, incredible. as you know from yeah. Hey Rosetta, yeah, incredible. stepped into the spotlight by herself and won two awards, as did Rose Cousins, as did Jen Grant. It was like PEI Ladies Night. <laughs> it was awesome. It was just great. So um, you play this game on your podcast. Yes, you it's and called I Slanguage. You and I were texting about this. Said, what are we going to do? Because we already played one of your games on the show last time we were on. We and you beat me at my own game. I beat you at Tom Hit the Power from yeah. Newfoundland. From Newfoundland. You by did. the way, by the way, I, I just, I, I just want to mention that. Go ahead. It, it, what is it, it you want to say? It's great, great to have you here. And uh, as a friend of mine, I am Tom Power from it, Newfoundland. It's great to be here. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Dueling Tom. <laughs> What's the plural of Tom? So we're going to play Slanguage. And you have. So how does this work? You have an advantage because Newfoundland is known for its colorful language. That's a way of putting it, yeah. We're going to try to stump each other on slang. I picked slang from the Maritime Provinces. You picked slang from Newfoundland. Yeah, I sure did. So I'm going to give you a phrase, and you're going to have to guess what it means. You ready? Okay, yeah. Let's rearrange our shorts. <laughs> Don't yell it out if you know it. <laughs> By applause. Does anyone know it? Hold on. Hello, sir. Thank you. Yeah. He, ca he, he came up with it. Uh, yeah. Um, Let's, uh, let's regroup. Let's figure out what we're going to do next. Let's have a dance. Let's get up and rearrange our shorts. Where's that from? Um, it's from just outside of Truro, okay. a suburb of Truro. <laughs> I say it in Truro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know where Lower Onslow is? Yeah. It's just above that, Upper Onslow. All right, I'm gonna, I figured I'd start with a nice easy one. Okay. The, maybe the most popular Newfoundland expression, so yeah. you should be able to get this one. Should I guess the answer first? Does it mean drinking? <laughs> It means drinking and Rex Murphy. That's <laughs> yeah, what okay. Uh, what do you have? Oh, yeah, how are you today? Okay, good. Sure, there yeah. you go. Ding, ding, ding. Pretty On good. an early date with my wife, she said, give her the onions, bud. Pona, she said that to you? Yeah, and I was like, dear diary, met my love of my life today. I'm going to put a ring on it. 
<laughs> Give her the onions, Bob. I wanna, what does that mean? I want to go for something lascivious, but I won't, because this is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, where you get to say words like lascivious. <laughs> and I want to guess Aimed. that it's uh, driving and putting a bit of gas in the car. I was driving slow. Give her the onions, Bob. Yeah, to get across good. the train pretty tracks. Good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, um, I'll give you the word and I'll, I'll put it in a sentence if you need me to do okay. it. Okay. Job say. <laughs> I'm glad it's not a spelling bee. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? Um, ask me if it's going to rain tomorrow. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Bye, job say. I'm going to guess it means some variation on I guess we'll see. It means um, job say, job to say, it's a job to say. Hard it's to hard say. to say. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Job say. Mm-hmm. Everyone in Newfoundland. Any Newfoundlanders? Any Newfoundlanders in the house tonight? Did you guys all know job say? All right. Good. 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 Um, this is from PEI weather legend Boomer Gallant. <laughs> Talk of dirt coming. Hold on. Talk of dirt coming. Talk of dirt coming? Yeah, talk of dirt coming. I think they were on my show like three months ago. What? <laughs> uh, talk of dirt coming means there's some bad weather coming. Bad weather on the horizon, yeah, yes. Right, right. You are destroying me at slanguage. Um, all right, let's do one more each. Okay. Um, sure, but don't be so crooked. Pardon? <laughs> sure, but don't be so crooked. Oh, okay. Um, uh, does that mean someone who is unfair in a business practice? Crooked? No, it means... Um, anybody? Contrary. 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 Yeah. Okay, good. So, so don't be so crooked. Don't be so crooked. All right, last All right. one. Last one. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, this one from Bette McDonald, Cape Breton comedian and funny, funny gal. Were the clampers ever slippy? Now, in fairness, slippy is P-E-I, but clampers is Cape Breton. Were the clampers ever slippy? Does anyone know? Were the... Were the clampers ever slippy? Yeah. <laughs> Were the clampers? Like glamping? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. being in a nice tent? No. No. Clampers, chunks of ice in the bay. The kids would try to hop from chunk of ice to chunk of ice. And you, were they ever too Or as we'd say in PEI, chunk of ice to chunk of ice. And you try to stay on it without slip, slipping off. And in PEI, things are slippy, not slippery. So clampers, were the clampers ever slippy? Fell in the bay. There you go. Pretty good. You pretty might good. have a conniption. I say conniption too. Do you? We say conniption. It's our difference. We found it, make it, us found it, the same. found it together. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Torres, Thank give him so another much. round of applause.